Hello Colors, welcome to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca. In this episode, we are going to be discussing on three developing stories of Barcelona, starting with Sergio Roberto, as it has been reported that contract extension talks with Barca, you know, have come to a halt, as there are some disagreement when it comes to the extent of the wage cut, because, you know, it has been reported that Barca are trying to cut about 50% of the wages as per his new contract, but Sergio Roberto's representative are in disagreement with that. So we're going to be discussing much more on that. Then secondly, talking about this transfer rumor, Bernardo Silva, this Manchester City playmaker, um, it has been reported that Barca are still eyeing him. We quite remember Bernardo Silva was linked to Barca some few months ago in this transfer window, and Barca are still eyeing him. But guys, we know this is so impossible given the fact that we don't have the finances to even buy any player. Why even Umtiti? We cannot even upload offload Umtiti up to now, and things are still getting worse. So we are just saying this because it's a rumor, and we need to talk about it as we progress. Then secondly, we'll be talking about Ansu Fati, as report from Marca are saying that Ansu Fati is likely to you know um, start play next month September after the international break so we're going to be discussing much more on that as well so colors if you haven't subscribed to this channel if you're a Barcelona supporter please make sure you do so so you always stay up to date with the latest Barcelona news transfer news and many more here on Viva Barca, 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 Barca. as per report from Catalonia radio the agreement between Barcelona and Sergio Roberto for his new contract renewal is far from done New hurdles have popped up and the third captain's renewal seems to be heading into a long saga. The reported reason for the disagreement between the two parties is the wage on the new contract. The wage offered by the Catalan club in the proposed agreement is nearly half of the amount the La Masia graduate is currently earning. It comes as no surprise as Barcelona have been very vocal about their desire to cut wages of players. Earlier this month, Gerard Piquet took accepted a steep fall in his salary to help his team register the new signings. More recently, Jordi Alba too has accepted a large pay cut with a deferral of the remaining payment too till 2024. Sergio Busquets is close to an agreement with Barcelona for a salary cut too. Unsurprisingly, the club expects the captains to lead from the front and help in reducing the wage bill. You know, Roberto's reduced salary in his new contract is a continuation of the same mission, even though it comes in the form of an extension and not a revision of his pre-existing contract. Earlier this month, the midfielder himself came out to say that he will renew his deal with the club with a lower salary to help the side out financially. However, there still seems to be a disagreement between the parties on the extent of the decrease in wage. Roberto seems ready to start the weekend's game against Getafe, especially with Pedri off on holidays. He was like he has already delivered a goal and an assist in two appearances and will look to keep the form going. The 2021 summer transfer window is six days away from its culmination and Barcelona are still busy. The Catalans have thus far made four acquisitions, three of whom are registered while Sergio Aguero still unregistered awaits his return from injury. Naturally, with time quickly running out, the Blaugrana will make the most of it and have a chance through an unlikely source. As per French publication Le Dispoir, Barcelona are planning a raid on Manchester City star Bernardo Silva. The Portuguese have struggled a great deal with form and finding stability in Pep Guardiola's dynamics and now seeks a way out of the Etihad. Barcelona seems to be his preferred destination as the ex monaco player seeks greener pastures. The arrival of Jack Glirish makes his task of finding a stable spot in the starting lineup more difficult than it has already been. Even Pep Guardiola acknowledged Silva's desire to part ways with the citizens not too long ago. If Barca thought that they would be alone you know, on the hunt for him, then they have thought everything wrong. Their inability to afford him is one issue that AC Milan reportedly do not have. Paolo Maldini, their sporting director, sees him as a valuable um, person to their project. The Italian Giants are willing to shell out 52 million euros to take him to the San Siro. The 27 year old's contract makes a deal very difficult for Barcelona to fathom. So he is tied with the Champions League finalists until 2025. I'm talking about Man City. And his market value will struggle to drop given his quality. Barca's financial woes add more layers to this complicated situation, one that does not seem anywhere close to ending. If anyone is to get the signature of the Portuguese this summer, then it will probably be AC Milan, unless Juan Laporta pulls a rabbit out of the hat. Then on to the final story of discussion, 
Barcelona have received some very positive updates with regards to one of their players currently out with an injury. Teenage sensation Ansu Fati, who took the world by storm in the 2019-20 campaign and started the previous season brilliantly as well, has been out with an injury for nearly 10 months. Having suffered a broken meniscus in his left knee in November last year during a clash against Real Betis, the 18-year-old has had like had to go undergo multiple surgeries, you know, deal with setbacks in his in rehabilitation, making the past year a huge ordeal. However, Fatih has returned to light training recently, yesterday, and it is unlikely to be much longer before Barcelona fans see the teenage sensation back in action on the pitch. According to a report from Marca, the Spanish international could be ready to return to the field as early as next month. Indeed, the report claims that Fati is in line to be available for selection you know, for the Catalan Giants right after the international break that will run from August 30 to September 8. Barcelona will be facing Sevilla in La Liga on the 11th of September, you know, which is when the La Masia product is expected to return. He was welcomed back into the team training by applause and a tunnel tradition where the team packed the players in turns guard of honor style. Since breaking to the first team back in 2019-2020 season, Fati has racked up 43 appearances for Barca, scoring 13 goals and setting up 5 more. Widely regarded as a generational talent, the four-time cap Spanish international will likely have a major role to play for the Blagrona following the shock exit of Lionel Messi. Barcelona lost Gerard Piquet and Eric Garcia to an injury and suspension, respectively, in the 1 1 draw against Athletic Club Bibaho this past weekend. However, Ronald Koeman will likely have Mark Andre Ter Stegen back from injury, along with Oscar Mingueza and Felipe Coutinho as the next game for Getafe. You know, that coupled with the news of Ansofati imminent return certainly augurs well for the Catalan Giants. So, guys, with that, we come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching and hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so and turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a video. Until next time, bye bye.